What are you two doing? Um, girl stuff. But why can't she just brush her own hair? Because this is very, very hot. It goes up to 400 degrees. Why? Because it is a warm <laughs> implement. And it's to, to make her hair a bit... Look at these, look. They're so pretty. And she has very long hair. And if I can't have my hair like that... <laughs> I don't get it. I stayed up until one, half one last night to make sure that I did all my editing and everything last night so I didn't waste my Saturday morning. Slight problem, I then had a lie in because I stayed up until half one last night for like the fourth time this week and still didn't get up until about 10 o'clock so I lost the morning anyway. But, I don't know, I feel like that might be a better way to do it. I've woken up, it's been a relaxing morning, I've made some pancakes, I had syrup on them so that whole thing has broken already. We all knew it would. I need to figure something out. But so much other stuff going on at the moment that it's quite hard to to focus on that element of it. But anyway, that's not what today is about. Um, we're heading out and about today. Sproglet has decided he wants to go out and about. He's not been to school all week. I know we've not really mentioned him much on the vlog this week. He's not been to school at all. Um, we had a little bit of a row with his school because they still sent a taxi on Monday morning, which they shouldn't have done, because that really stressed him out. We're still struggling a little bit with his food. He's not really eating very much at all he's right at the bottom end of his minimum weight that we can allow him to get to before he has to be admitted to hospital to get some more food into him but he's refusing to eat crisps because the bags changed like we mentioned earlier in the week but he's also now gone off potato waffles um he's eating twixes but there's only so many twixes we can give to the boy he had eight twixes yesterday i don't know what's better health wise giving him eight twixes a day or not giving him the Twixes and him ending up in hospital. It's so hard. Um, but he wants to go wants to go out into Peterborough to see the cathedral and go to Burger King. Now he doesn't eat burgers, but he does eat the burger buns that they've got there. So if we can get him out, get him into Burger King, get a bun in him, we'll just keep getting him burger buns and sit there for as long as he'll eat them for. The problem is, the sort of burger buns you get from McDonald's and Burger King, you can't get them in the shop. The ones you get from Tesco that's supposed to be burger buns are either really big with the seeds on and he knows they're different, or the small ones don't have seeds on and they're not cooked in the right way anyway. So we might just be spending a lot of time in fast food places, which is far from ideal when I've already identified I've managed to fail yet another healthy eating thing. Mm. sunny at home so I'm out without my coat on and now it's cold I hope it's just because we're really high up the whole clan is out look there they all are not gonna give them the opportunity to hide from the camera today what are you doing you're leaning so far back they're all mental I'm all the way back here so that I can film him so he comes back here because that's where I am and you're there leaning backwards behind me and we can't use any of this footage anyway because it's so echoey. I was expecting that to be a massive problem because that's his favourite lift in this whole place. Glass sides and all that. Just walked straight past it, not bothered. He's remembered there's a lift in Primark. So we'll go over there. One of my ulterior motives for coming in today is I was hoping to have a look at a Nintendo Switch after I cancelled my pre-order. Just, if nothing else, to see what size they are. But, no, apparently, they didn't have any. I had a tiny little area at the back. They were still far more focused on the PlayStation and the Xbox. Never mind, eh? Kind of glad I cancelled the pre-order. Debuting a new bag today. It's my new bag. Hold on. 
It's my new bag that I've purchased for Expo season because I now have all this camera kit that I have to take with me. We've got the first Expo in a couple of weeks. Me and the female Sproglets are going to the Birmingham Comic Con at the NEC. I need to be able to take my laptop and all my camera gear and not have it all hanging off one shoulder. And then when we get to the stuff later in the year, like the London Comic Con, um, the EGX stuff that we're going to be going to. Not only that, I need to, to fit spare pants and a spare t-shirt and a toothbrush in there as well. So the normal bag isn't going to get the job done. Proper backpack. Only problem is I forgot why I stopped having backpacks in the first place. They make my shirt ride up and you can see my underpants. So I might have to get myself a wrestling singlet to go with the, the backpack, I think. One of the sprockets is just there. She doesn't want to go in the church where they've gone. She also doesn't want to be on camera. Do you? She's just shaking her head. She did ask a question on the way here because it's currently half past one and Sproglet has been talking about wanting to hear the bell. We heard them. I hope he heard them. Yeah, because we, we were worried that we were going to have to wait here for half an hour to get the bells at two o'clock. I hope he heard that one, but he's in the church at the moment. So he might have missed it or it might not have been good enough. But she said, well, why don't we go to stuff in a different order? Anyone who has an autistic child knows you can't go to stuff in a different order. When we come to town, we park up, we go to the lift to get downstairs in the shopping centre, we come out here to the church, then we go to Burger King, then we go to Boots to go in that lift, then we go back to the car. Sometimes we add a few little bits into the mix, which is fine, like we went to Games Day to have a look to see if they had a Nintendo Switch. What we can't do is go car park Burger King Church, because then we'd still have to go to Burger King again after the church, because that's what he's used to doing how it is. Anyway, time lapse. You heard the bell when you are in there. The bell went off when you are in there, didn't it? No. Um, well, we heard the bell from yeah, out here. Oh, Hold on. We speculated you might not be able to hear it. Yeah. So, we went in and the, the greeter man said, there you go, shall we? Today. You need to go a bit closer so you can be heard. We here to listen to the bells. <laughs> right, so tell us what happened. We walked in and the man, the greeter man came over to us and goes, oh, you just going to cry? And goes, yeah, he goes, Oh, you're with the boy that just likes to look through things in his camera, and I went, yeah. And he just That's how he remembered you? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's go and shake his hand. That's awesome. <laughs> Andy, did you have fun in the church? Yeah. Tell the camera. Yeah. Tell the camera, look. You were vlogging in a minute. Did you have fun? Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, they didn't hear the bell from inside the church that we clearly have recorded on video out here. So. Anna and one of the Swaggots have gone off to buy a, what are they buying? A Jojo bow. A Jojo bow? Yeah, which I think is something from Final Fantasy. £10 for a massive, a massive hair bow. Okay. Um, we are waiting for the bells at 2 o'clock. It's been 15 minutes so far. We have another 15 minutes to wait. Yeah. Yay. But I have learnt to use Snapchat. I've just been having a Snapchat and Instagram lesson. So you can have me on those two places now. I'm going to lose you on both of them and um job now is to beat her and she still refuses to come on camera snapchat score which is forty-two thousand. mine's 131 so i'm gonna try and beat her by the end of the week that's not gonna happen it's like two years yeah but i'm a celebrity someone from work walked past a minute ago not someone i regularly talk to i wonder if it's someone who has any idea what's going on she just looked at me like i was mental because i was talking to the camera at the, at the time let's see if i get questioned about that on monday do you want to explain what that is? This is a Jojo bow, not a whatever you call it. bow. This is a Jojo bow. Why did it cost ten pounds? I don't understand. It's just I could make that for four quid. You really could have. Yeah. No, I really could. It's, it's What's a Jojo? Tell me what a Jojo bow is. She is a thirteen-year-old girl on dance moms, and apparently she's sweeping the nation. And I'm, yeah. And she's what? And this is her personal brand. She's get this thirteen-year-old girl is getting money for this. Loads of bows, yeah. uh, hair bands. Just because she wears a big bow in her hair? Yeah. Yeah, and she has a signet, she's her yeah, signet. Her signet just like a ponytail. New plan. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing an eye patch. And you can all buy Kev's eye patch for 10 quid. <laughs> Do 
Oh, there's a puddle there. Uh, I know. I just tried to move a car and step back into that. Ugh. One minute until bells, apparently. One minute until bells. Two minutes until bells, apparently. One minute. There we go, it's two o'clock now. Splendid. It is time for the Burger King. Come on, you lot, no time for sitting, we've got places to go. Oh, thank you. One more church on the way to Burger King, apparently. That one. You can see it through the door anyway, you don't need to go in. Look, we can film it through the door and you can look at it on a computer when we get home. Yeah, we'll look. Yeah, let's go to Burger King then. Yeah. Come on, Burger King now. Andrew, it's not open today. No, it's not open today, I told you this. Oh, tell me this isn't happening again. Right, come on, time for Burger King. Well, he ate something, but then vomited up his <laughs> that. He ate something, but then vomited up his, well, not vomited, but his drink came back up again. We think there might be some kind of blockage or something going on that's making food and drink come back up again and that's then making him not want to eat in the first place because he obviously doesn't want that to happen as usual because he can't tell us about it we don't know so we'll have to um have to figure it out i guess lift takes so long to close. I didn't think it was going to close and I didn't know what we were going to do. What have you got there? Um, I've got a sour filled egg, two jaw breakers and two gums. A what? A, a sour filled egg. We got you one. A sour filled egg. Give it here then. Let's have a go on it. What on earth? What are you supposed to do with that? That's bigger than my mouth. Do you bite it? I don't know. I don't right. We have a sour filled egg. Ow, no, you don't bite it. I only took my teeth Maybe out. Maybe you just like suck it until you get to the inside. That's not going to fit in your mouth. That's nasty. I can't hold around, walk around holding something that's half sucked. <laughs> well, you're going to hold my sucked thing. Yeah. Here you go then. Okay. That's horrible. <laughs> I realise the stuff about his eating before might come across as quite alarming. It's, we've been down this road before. Hopefully it'll be okay. Just going to let his social worker know, let his doctor know, and hopefully they'll just point us towards the right person to help us do the right thing. Usually it sorts itself out in a few days. It's been going on for four or five days now. He is dropping weight. So we've moved him onto full fat coke. But that's what he's just brought us in Burger King. So we'll have to see how this pans out. We don't need to worry and panic just yet. Well, that has been a not unsuccessful journey into town. We've been out and about in the community with him for over two hours, which is the longest he's been out and about in a long time. He's not kicked off once. We had the little if iffy moment at the church right for the bells and then at the other church when we couldn't get in, but he didn't dig his heels in, which is progress because it's, you've seen how he's been recently. He's been very determined and not changed his mind very often. So, we're making progress on that side. If we can crack this food thing, then everything's moving in the right direction again. It always, it's always been the way though. You make progress in one area and in other areas slips. I don't know if that's us moving our focus and he needs the constant focus on an area to continue with it and there's just no way we can focus on everything all the time. Or if it's just the way he is, perhaps there'll always be something that we need to work on, but we shall have to see, I guess.